Henceforth, the Lagos State Police Command will make cases of sexual and gender-based violence a priority. This came to the fore as the Commissioner of Police Lagos Command, Idowu Owohunwa, declared open a three-day training for his officers attached to the gender desk of the command. According to him, given the population of the state, it has become imperative for the police to reach out and seek help from stakeholders, not only in handling such cases, but also in prosecution. For the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, the training will further help the officers get acquainted with the Lagos State laws, how to respond and to investigate reported cases of sexual and gender-based violence. So what are we doing in the Nigeria police? We decided that we have to, if we need to address this threat frontally and in a very sustainable manner, we just have to take certain actions that will reposition our gender units. And the first step was to engage our strategic partners, the NGOs, and I must say with a sense of pride and professional fulfillment that the input the encouragement, the support that the NGOs in Lagos State have given to us in this drive has been a source of inspiration to us. The outcome that we envisage is that the officers that will be processed through this exercise would have been exposed to the best expected standards in dealing with domestic and gender-based violence. A refreshing moment for us because we are seeing that the police is taking ownership of this process. And us as government, we want to um, reaffirm our commitment towards ensuring that Lagos State is rid of all forms of domestic and sexual violence. 